All right, welcome back, guys. We're gonna have an Xbox rant, rant. about backwards compatibility. I think this started out as more of an information session, this... and then it went rant, rage, tastic, real quick. Trying to find information on the Microsoft Store is just foolish. It is, and you know what? I have checked that several times, back and forth, back and forth. Sometimes you can get the page to load. Sometimes you can't. I assume sometimes they're working on it. They need to do some more work. Let's anyway. just say that. I'm, guys, we're so, I'm so frustrated with the whole thing. We are frustrated. We're not trying no. to shit on Xbox. No. We, but we really love our Xbox. We're going to shit on it. <laughs> and I'll tell you. My son was getting a little bit snippy with me when I was talking to him. I'm like, hey, Stompy McLoudfoot, try not to go around the house like, you know, a rhino in heat. They're just making noise everywhere. I, I was can you put up a picture of a rhino in heat <laughs> making noise everywhere, please? <laughs> Anyways, I was telling him what we're going to do for a video today, and he was pissed. He was like, well, that's not Microsoft's fault. And I'm like, I'm not saying it's Microsoft's fault. He's like, well, There's, games end up getting, they lose the, licensing. And I'm like, Alex, that's no. not what we're talking okay. about, dear. And I realize that's the truth sometimes. Do you know what? He walked away and he said, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. You're acting like a jerk to me. And I'm like, I just want to know why you're saying what you're saying. I'm like, could you tell me what makes you think that? Can you tell me? He was getting all sorts of livid, so he just he's went full upstairs. on Xbox fanboy. Well, or PC said. Master Race. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely one of those Master Race yeah. guys. Anyway, I wanted to have like a continual series where I update you on what new original Xbox games have been added to the list of backwards yeah. compatibility. And at the time, we did a previous video, and at the time, there was 37. This is how it started out. It was 37. A few days later, it was 38. The day we recorded the video, it might have still been 38, but by the time We've, I edited the damn thing, it was back to, back 37. to 37. And I'm like, I'm not going to do voiceovers no. of us saying 37, 37 every time we mention 38. So, I'm like, yeah, I'll just leave it there. As of this morning, when we're I'm getting ready to record this video, I wanted to look up a few things and see if the list changed at all. It was still at 37. I get down here because there was a game that was added and we talked about it in our video and it was this game. It was Dead to Rights. Yeah. So, Jen said, why don't you put it in the machine and see if it if it will play? I'm like, all right, but it's not on the list. So I pop it in the list. I pop it in the machine. And you bought this because it was on the list. Yeah, uh, I picked it up. It was, yeah. It's a cheap game, but it's I was like, cheap game. I want to try it, right? Yeah. So, pop it in and we took a picture of the screen and said, this game needs an update to play. What the hell? It's not even mm -hmm. on the list. So she starts. I start downloading it, and you I went back on, on the website, Microsoft's website, and checked it, and it's back on the list. I'm like <laughs> literally, the difference of a half an hour. Yeah. We're talking a half so, an hour. I know. Here, let me really let you in on how bad it is here, because when we first did that video, the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility list was at 485. Yes, and we wrote it down, yep. and we even reference it in yep. our video that we did on that backwards now, compatibility. Now, I want to uh, list prior to that to uh, cross-reference and see if there were any games taken off or mm -hmm. if there were any games that were added, because I thought, because when I looked at it one day, it said 475, a few days later it said 478. I'm like, I wonder which three games they added, and mm -hmm. then I got into this. So we, we went to... And it to... wasn't actually three games they added, it was no. seven anyway. games they had taken away. Anyway, so we went to IGN.com, they had a list that they, and they published tout... at uh, on November 8th, 2020. Yeah, and they tout being your number one, number one premier spot for video game information. Yep. So, I, you know what? I was like, ooh, I have a lot of confidence in IGN, let's check their list. So we printed it off, then I went on the Microsoft store, and then I cross-referenced everything and came up with a lot that were missing. By my count, at the time, it was 90 games, 90 games from November 8th to now. And we're not talking 90 games at it, we're talking 90 games taken, taken away. away. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell's going on? And then I started going through the list of games that were not 
on the Microsoft webs, uh, website. Like, mm -hmm. I could actually... Here's one, one thing for sure. Like, I physically... I looked for it, and then I physically typed in the name to try to find it. It was Dark Souls for the 360. Mm -hmm. Because it was backwards compatible on IGN. IGN's list. As of November 8th. And then we checked today, and it's not on the Microsoft one. I didn't, and then didn't even bother with going to the list. I typed in the, the name itself for a search. Still nothing. Still nothing. So then I put the game in the machine, and it'll put, oh, need an update to play. Like, what the hell? Why, <laughs> why should I have more confidence in IGN's list than I can have, it, IGN, a third party, than I can have in Microsoft's, Microsoft's list? Own, own it's, website. There. Like, it should, why? Why? It why? was frustrating to no end. So there's no way to really know for sure which games are backwards it, compatible? It wasn't a unless fluke. You threw them in the machine. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a fluke. Because I found, I went and grabbed two more that were when we cross-referenced IGN's list to what I booked on the other day, and and guys, he spent a good couple, well, hours, couple hours going hours through this, this list. So, Halo Three for 360 is apparently not supposed to be a backwards compatible. And it is. And it is. I put it in. It took an update. The same with the the orange box. And that's just... I, that's just three. That's just, just three, three at random. And there's 90 in the difference. So yeah. if I had them all, could I throw them all in? They work? Is there a reason why they took them off? Like, was it glitchy? Yeah. And they took it off and now it's fixed? I don't know. Would it have worked yesterday before they changed the list? I don't know. I don't know if these are maybe... Th those wouldn't be later gen releases on the 360 that were also brought out on the one. Are they on the ones list? Like, I just no. don't know. Another problem we have with Microsoft stores, uh, like when you go on your laptop and log in that way, um, what is the one of the filters you can put in? Last. Oh, release date. The release date of the backwards compatibility. Do you, so, so it doesn't mean anything from what we can tell. Okay, so just, just for shits and giggles, I went on the 360 and I put it by release date. The first two games that popped like up. when the game was actually made? Or? Well, that's what I assumed. It was Some either thought. when it was released as yep. a backwards compatible game or when it was released as just as a game itself. Anyways, the first two on the list were Unreal Tournament 3 and Enchanted Arms. And Unreal right Tournament after. 3 came out in 2008. That was the very first game. Enchanted Arms came out in 2006. That was the second game. On so the it's list. Like on the list. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's release date by when they made it backwards, backwards compatible. compatible. And I'm not saying so they made we, it backwards compatible. So then those. going by that theory, this should have been the last one on the list. And it was not. Fusion Frenzy. Fusion which, Frenzy. Which is a launch game, I do believe. Yes. For the original Xbox. So it just... <laughs> The release date doesn't mean a whole lot. No. That we can tell. Maybe we're wrong. If we are, blast us in the comments. You will. I don't care. <laughs> but it just... Or like, help me out here. Help, help me us. understand yes. what's going on. Because I obviously don't understand what's going on. I wanted to do more of an information series and let we, everybody know. Are we happy that IGN's list is more accurate? Yes, because that means there's more backwards compatible games. I just don't have, know why they We don't have any way to track, though. They were obviously backwards compatible at, as of November 8th of 2020. Two days before launch yeah, of, of the, the Xbox Series Xbox X. Series so, X. is there things that they had to fix? Did they take them off because of that? I don't know. I couldn't find anything. That doesn't mean that there's not. Um, if they add 100 games tomorrow, how could I... You could never go back and figure out no. which ones were added unless you would you have were... to constantly cross-reference lists yep. somehow, and you'd have to stay on top of it. You'd have to stay on top of it. I think you said it best when you quote it. <laughs> a, <laughs> this, a documentary we just watched. It's on Netflix. It's called Death to 2020. Yeah. And then I compared this Microsoft Store website there and <laughs> it was a quote that was in this and it was it was like a train wreck and a shit show but that wouldn't be fair to trains or shit yeah so, so that's kind of how we feel about it yeah and guys i don't want you to take this the wrong way that's not how we feel about 
Xbox. I was pumped. I was very <laughs> yeah. pumped. Hyped all up. I think you're still pumped because we can... I, I am, I still... Don't, this this video is going to come across that I am like really pissed out at my stuff and I'm not. I actually, my first two games I played on my Xbox Series X are these two games. Yeah. And today was actually going to be review time for my thoughts on those games. But in my mission to find more information, I got pissed off to the point that I had to do this, I guess. <laughs> we... Well, we just, we had a lot to say. Nothing really good. <laughs> Nothing really good, but if... Just give me a day and I'll calm down and I'll be fine. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My... But it's just frustrating. It's frustrating to know you can't I wanna... really depend on a I'm list. 30, you know, 38 games I can go by memory and figure out which games have been added. Yeah. Or taken off, for the most part. But if they ever get up to like a hundred games, yeah, and they remove something, it'd be nice to know that or add something. Some I don't it. know. Yeah, you won't know until you actually just put the disc in the machine. And I know you're thinking, hey, lazy ass, just get up and try the disc. I know, but if you're a collector, I'm a collector, and I, wanna... I want to go and get them all that are are yeah. backwards compatible. So. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, yeah. are we done? I think we're done with this train wreck. With this train wreck, with this shit show. <laughs> <laughs> Title right. of this video, Train Wreck and Shit Show. Just Train Wreck and Shit Show. Alright All right, guys, well, we promise to be happier next time. Right? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> We're still happy. We're just, we, we want some uh, consistency. We want some consistency in your list. This is Jennifer Burns. Signing off. Signing off. Probably shouldn't give me your name. <laughs> they already know my name. <laughs> Give me your address, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>